Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting, tricky problem today. We have 3 to the x equal to minus 3. And we need to find, of course, in this equation, we need to find our x. On the first side, this equation has no roots because we have minus right here. It looks like that. And moreover, if we draw a, a real quick graph right here, so we have 3 to the x, we know that this is our exponential function. And minus 3, this is a constant in this part. So as you can see, there is no point of intersection. So this even intersect with this x, with this x is, and right here with this one as well. So no point of intersection right here using graph methods. And moreover, if we use our algebra, we will have 3 to the x equal to minus 3. And from here, we will have natural log 3 to the x, just taking natural log on both sides, equal to natural log minus 3, applying natural log on both sides. Right here, this x jump in the beginning, so x natural log 3 equal to natural log minus 3. And moreover, x equal to natural log minus 3 over natural log, natural log 3. And if, if you know right here, right here, this has no any possible value, so this cannot exist natural log minus 3. So no real, no real, real solution. Solution. And of course, let's try to find our complex roots. Maybe we'll have complex roots, maybe we'll find our real roots, if it's possible, of course. Let's do this. First of all, I want to write it in another way. Let's write this 3 to the minus, uh, this minus 3, let's write in another way. So we'll have 3 to the x equal to 3 times minus 1. So I want to write it in this way. And let's go next. Let's divide both sides by this 3. If we divide both sides by 3, we will have 3 to the x over 3 equal to minus 1. And if we apply our, our power rule, our, our knowledge about powers, if we bring this 3 in our denominator, we will have minus 1 right here. So as a result, 3 to the power x minus 1 equal to minus 1. Okay we have this expression. Why we have this expression and why this expression is good for us? Right now I want to write in an Euler's form right here because every every number we can write in as a every expression we can write it in, in another way using a complex number. So we can write this expression as this 3 to the power x minus 1. We can write it as minus 1 times 0 times i. So if you know a little bit about complex number, this is good for us because zero times i equal to equal to equal to zero. So this is good for us. And right now we can we can easily create an Euler's form right here. So z equal to minus one plus zero times i. So this is a little bit about complex number. And right now we can we need a know a little bit about Euler's form. How this form looks like? This form looks like that. I write it right here. Euler's Euler's, Euler's form, Euler's form. How this form looks like? The z equal to r times e to the power i times theta. Okay, this form looks like where, I write it right here, down, so we have where, where r equal to square root of a square plus b square, so our real and imaginary part, and theta equal to tangent with minus 1 b over over a. Okay, we have this Euler's form. And why I write this Euler's form? Because after finding this z, we will plug in this z right here in this form and after that, after this form. Okay, so let's do this. Let's find this z with this Euler's Euler's expression. So let's start with. We have that our a equal to minus one from here, and our b equal to equal to zero. So b equal to zero, and our r we can easily find it. A square plus b square equal to square root. So we have a square, so one square plus or right here minus one, but doesn't matter. It will be equal to one as well. Zero square. So we'll have that our r equal to equal to one. So we find our r. And right now we need to find our theta real quick. So theta will be equal to tangent with minus 1 of 0 over minus 1, which is equal to 0. And we know a little bit about trigonometry. We'll have pi. So our theta equal to pi. And let's plug in all of these elements. So our form of z will be equal to, so z equal to 
1 times e to the power i times theta will be equal to pi. So we have this, this expression, we have this z. So and from here our z equal to z equal to e to the power i times pi. And we find our, our z. We have z right here and moreover our z equal to z z and z. 3 to the power x minus 1 equal to our z. So we can easily write that our 3 to the power x minus 1 equal to uh, e to the power i times pi. And from here we will find our our x. But how can we find it? I write it at first in, in another way. So I write it as 3 to the power x minus 1 equal to e to the power i. I write it as a period. So we'll have p plus 2 pi times n, where of course n is a set of whole numbers. And let's let's find our x from here. How can we do this? Let's take e on both sides and let's take natural log. We will have e to the power x minus 1 times natural log 3 equal to e to the power i pi times 2n plus 1. Okay, let's find our x from here. x goes right here, we have e, we have e, we can easily cancel it. So as a result, we will have that our x minus 1, x minus 1 times natural log 3 equal to i times pi times 2n plus 1. Of course, every time n is z is a whole number, it's a set of whole numbers. So from here, if we find our answer, we will have that our x our x equal to 1 goes right here with this natural log we divide in. So we will have 1 plus i times pi times 2n plus 1 and over natural log, natural log 3. Of course, n is a set of whole numbers is z. So this is our, our solution. This is my, my answer to this problem. What do you think about this solution? Write your suggestion in the comment. Maybe a lot of students does not understand this explanation, but but I hope you will, will understand if you watch this video once more. As for me, this is maybe not the fastest method, but I want to show you these Newtons, this Euler's form right here. We find this z and then compare, then write an equation with this 3 to the x minus 1, we find this this route. I hope you understand this, I really hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment, it will be really interesting to read it. And thank you so much for watching, see you in the next videos. Have a great day and thank you for your support, for your comments, for your, for your inspiration, it helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot. See you in the next videos.